hello and uh, welcome to this demo so in this demo we'd be looking at uh, control flows uh, let's quickly fire up uh, pids and uh, let's uh, make a new project integration services project and uh, in my demos let me make one more folder called as demo2 and call this as sample demo2 okay so now we are in the bits user interface so here you could find a couple of tabs so a main interest would be in control flow items so you could see a number of tasks associated with this uh, let's look at some very simple tasks to get a hang of it um, let us uh, initially look at a uh, execute SQL task I'll just drag and drop execute SQL task um, so when I drag and drop I could see a small icon over here so first and foremost what I need to do is uh, set up a property set up the properties associated with this uh, task uh, now uh, in what situations would you use execute SQL task um, you could actually plug this small component anywhere for instance say you are transforming some amount of data from source to destination uh, in the um, mid you would like to say clean up the database or something you could actually plug the small task in. so uh, let us just look at this uh, configuration so what I'm going to do is um, let me just fire up my bids uh, my management studio I'll connect to my database engine and um, what I'm going to do over here is create a new table called as um, say status and data type say bit status okay so once I'm done with this what I'm going to do is um, let me just make an query Just check this okay so I'll just truncate this table and uh, now you shouldn't see anything good so what I'm going to do is um, first of all I need to set the properties so I go right click on this and click edit so you'd find a number of options over here in my SQL source type I'll, I could select direct input or a file connection or a variable so for now I'll select uh, direct input so this basically allows me to put some SQL statement so this is the statements that would be executed by this task you could parse your query but before that you could what you need to do is set this to false this basically says that whether the task should prepare the query before executing it or not so the first and foremost thing yeah I would forgot to set up a connection over here so I'll do is create a new connection and uh, the server name I could give and adventure works uh, demo db sorry 
test connection okay so looks like um, everything is set up I could parse the query and set this to true click on ok so this is one of the tasks that I have defined so this task this particular task when executed is going to actually fire that query okay so um, in a short while we'll look at precedence constraints so we would reuse this for now just to get an idea let us just execute this task I'm going to click on start debugging and it turns green that means the task was successful I could select the status table and yes it has inserted that bit 1 into this so so far so good let's look at one or two other simple tasks say a file system task similarly I'm just dragging this and um, dropping into my control flow I could right click click on edit so this allows me to do a number of file related operations so to keep the demo simple let me do operation like uh, say creating a directory I'll set up a connection and I'll say create a folder demo created folder click on ok for now I'll just um, truncate this and I could run my package So it looks like both of them succeeded. So I could just navigate to my C drive. And I could see that demo created folder is created. There are some other options associated with this. So let me just stop debugging. So if I right click on this file system task and click on edit, there are other options that are associated with this. Like for example, I could set whether the use directory if exists. So this basically indicates whether the operation should use the existing directory or fail if the directory exists. So those are some of the things that you could actually go ahead and uh, do some research on it.